cat was attacked by a coyote. He fought off the coyote, apparently, and he got stuck under this car. Um, some wonderful firemen came through and they helped me. They helped uh, find some solutions to get the cat out. Um, at the end of the day, we couldn't get him out, so we all decided to uh, just let him find his own way out. And uh, if we can't, then we'll give him a call back. But it looks like he's healthy and uh, he survived and he hasn't been fatally wounded or wounded for whatever part. I couldn't find any blood on him, so I'm happy about that and you know, I'm just grateful that, uh, that he's okay. And I heard from the encounter that he had, he tried to attack him, he fought it off with his claws and then he just ran into the car and tried to find shelter. And uh, what's his name? His name is Doobie. Doobie, is that an outdoor cat or He's indoor? He's a total outdoor cat, a total hunter, you know, always catching critters, rats, mice, birds, bunnies, lizards, you know, even bugs, he eats bugs too. We brought out the wet food and we we're trying to, you know, give him treats. He was eating the treats in the car, so that's how we know he's, you know, alive and well and not too wounded, you know, or else he wouldn't be eating. And obviously the fire department put a valiant effort into this but they've departed, what's the plan going forward? plan going forward is to just let him find his way out now. <laughs> he seems to be good. Uh, we're just gonna let him, you know, find his way out, hopefully where he came in from, but, uh, I mean, it's really hard to get him out and grab him from the car. Uh, it seems like we'd injure him, so I think it's best to just let him find his way out. He's right here. Oh, that's, that's his owner here. He was fighting with the coyote in the front. His other, I'm trying to find his other paw. It's like, it's like I can't find his other paw. Let me have, I have one here.